Howdy folks, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today, I'm showing you how to make some homemade Ferrero Rochers. They taste amazing, good times. They look amazing, right Barry? Yes, yes they do. Look, that's my first ever cookbook copy has arrived. The other ones, if you've pre-ordered it, haven't arrived yet, but look, I just like to scan through it like, look up there. Can you see it? That's my book. And I've even signed it. How sad is this, right? I signed my cookbook uh, to myself. Never mind. That's going up there. How cool. So, Ferrero Rocher's old school, like, just an amazing snack. The ambassador's reception. So, so good. Making your own from home. Just tastes fresh. You can make them as big as you like. It's a little messy, but it's fun. And I really hope you give it a go. If you want to have a go, hit pause on the video now. Write all these ingredients down. This is how you do it. It's Friday night and I feel alright. Party's on. Let's do it. First up, you want to grab yourself a big old mixing bowl and start to spoon in your Nutella. Now we're using three types of hazelnut today. You've got ground hazelnut, which has been like pulverized. You've got chopped hazelnuts and whole hazelnuts. So what you want to do is grab your ground hazelnuts and pour it in and start to work it through. So that will actually start to thicken the Nutella a little bit, but we are going to freeze it after that. So once you've bonded in all of your ground hazelnuts, you want to plonk that bowl in the freezer and give that a good hour to firm up. So to kill time while that's happening, what you can do is grab some ice cream wafers, plug them in a little bag and bash them away with your rolling pin to break them up so they're nice and fine and plonk it to one side. And once you're ready to grab your Nutella out of the freezer, it should be nice and firm. What you want to do is grab your whole hazelnuts, make sure your hands are super cold for this, scoop a little bit out, push a hazelnut in and work it. You want to work and grind like that. My man's telling me no. If you want to do that, just get it into a ball shape and every two or three, chuck it in the freezer straight away because your hands will get warm, they'll get messy, they'll look like this. You do not want that happening. Keep your hands nice and cool until you've got all the balls in the freezer again. Okay, so this step's a little crazy. I know we just put our balls in the freezer. Don't take that the wrong way. We put them in there to firm up. What you want to do is take them out onto a plate to just let them adjust to room temperature slightly so they'll become a little tacky on the outside. Then you want to put them in your bag with your wafer to roll it around so that it sticks to your balls. Put that back in the freezer and we're nearly done. Whilst our wafer balls are setting in the freezer, that's a bit like a waffle ball, isn't it? Isn't that a game of baseball, like very similar? I don't know, I got a pan of simmering water and melted our chocolate in a mixing bowl until it was nice and smooth. And to be honest, you guys like it when I say this, I did want to melt about it, I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to go I did. But uh, yeah, get it nice and melted. Then we got our third and final type of hazelnut, the chopped hazelnut. Oh, poured that in, mixed it all through, so that would help give it that lovely nutty finish that you get on a Ferrero Rocher. So then all you do with your melted chocolate is give it about five minutes just to cool down a little bit so it's still melted. But the worst thing is sticking your balls in there and then them just disappearing. Like that's a man's worst biggest fear. But what I found was best was once it was nice and cool to stick it in there and then roll it round with a spoon, plonk it on a little plate and then shove it back in the freezer to set for a good half an hour and then it's time to serve them up. And then all I did to present it was I managed to get hold of these little tiny cup cases from my local supermarket, although they did have like a pink version in there as well, which would have kind of freaked people out. I got some gold paint, painted some foil, and look, I had like proper Ferrero Rochers like that. I am right now at the ambassador's reception. Do -do 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 -do. Except the ambassador's reception is in my house, and these are my Ferrero Rochers. Good, good times. I'm gonna eat one, like right now. And the good thing is I've left it for another five minutes. That middle filling, it's got a little soft again. It's not frozen anymore, which is peace of mind. Otherwise, you'll like probably crack your teeth. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, hazelnut taste explosion. I am a squirrel doing the sprinkler, having a lot of fun with those Ferrero Rochers. They are amazing. If you have a go at making this, don't forget to send me a picture on Instagram or Twitter at My Virgin Kitchen. I'd love to see how you get on. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, comment. Good times, and I will see you next time.